Sepsis is a, a syndrome that people develop who have infections where the body reacts with great inflammation to create an illness that's worse than just the baseline infection that patients have. And the patients end up suffering organ damage. It's clearly the number one killer of inpatients in the United States. And you can imagine if you want to tackle mortality as a problem in hospitals, this is a great place to start. So one of the things that truly impacts the care of sepsis patients is for six hours really matter. Our effort was to standardize all of those six hour strategies into discrete packets of work, whether you're in the emergency department, the medical surgical floor, or the ICU. We provided education and we saw an effect. A few hours after the class I had a patient, he was ready for discharge and then all of a sudden he's like really, really cold. So I took his temperature and it was 101 and I knew from the training we better look at something else and it turns out he did have sepsis. Sepsis alert, room three. <laughs> Sepsis alert, room three. It happens so fast, you have the tools to actually save people's lives. We can see the difference that we're making in this initiative by looking at our severe sepsis and septic shock mortality rate, which has dropped from 25% in early 2014 to just below 16% at the end of 2015. We've saved more than 500 lives.